So July 23, 2023, a history making day for all Jamaicans across the globe. Why is that in particular? Well, it is a day where the reggae girls will grace the international stage for the second time. Jamaica's only football team to appear at two World Cups after Jamaica's under-17 team in 1999 in New Zealand and 2011 in Mexico. The reggae girls will play France in their opening game in Group F of the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. Let's talk a little bit about the Jamaican team, shall we? Well, if you look at the 23-member squad that has been called up by the Jamaican team, 11 of them are returning from the 2019 edition of the tournament, which was hosted in France. We're talking about individuals such as Sidney Schneider, who played two games at the last World Cup against the likes of Brazil and also Italy, and also experienced defenders Alison Swaby, Chantal Swaby, Kanye Plummer, Denisha Blackwood, and so much others. In midfield, there is also strength in depth as well, as you have returning players such as Trudy Carter and Havana Salone. Yes, that is right. The same Havana Salone that scored Jamaica's first goal in the history of the FIFA Women's World Cup. The keeper, and in! What a brilliant goal for Jamaica! Did you know that Havana Salone was born in Hong Kong? Yep, that is right. Born in Hong Kong to a Jamaican mother. And when you look at the attacking line as well, you see strength in depth. Where else to start? from Manchester City star Khadija Bunny Shaw. Yep, that is right, 55 international goals for Jamaica in just a shade over 40 appearances. Jodie Brown is also appearing in her second World Cup as well, alongside Chayna Matthews and Tiffany Cameron. Now, Kayla McCoy, as she was once in 2019, she was originally part of the World Cup squad four years ago, but injury meant that Maria Gray took her spot. But four years later, Kayla, now McKenna, that's right, Kayla McKenna, as she got married recently, is now in the World Cup squad, fresh off of her move to Villarreal in La Liga. When you look at this Jamaican team as well, many of them, 11 to be specific, as we made mention earlier, are coming from the 2019 roster. Some of them made the transition from college and are now playing professionally, like Sydney Schneider. Yep, that is right. And she's also learning from the experienced veteran, Rebecca Spencer. Who will the Jamaicans face in their opening game? Well, that is none other than France, the experienced French outfit. Well, France, they've had a number of changes quite recently. There's been a bit of disarray in the French camp in relation to team selections and other matters. And also they have a new head coach in Hervé Renard. Do you guys remember him? Yep, the same Hervé Renard that was the head coach of the Saudi Arabian team in the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. He's now in the hot seat of the country of his birth, France, on the women's team. Now, who is the player to look out for the French team heading into this opening game? Well, look no further than 32-year-old centre-back Wendy Renard. Wendy Renard was born in Martinique. That's right, in the Caribbean. Wendy Renard was born in Martinique, and she has gone on to have an amazing career, both for club and also for country. She scored in the opening game of the last World Cup against South Korea, and with her height at 6 feet 2 inches tall, she will stand strong and looking to win all of those dead ball opportunities. So that's one individual that the Jamaicans can keep a very close eye upon to ensure that they can limit her movement and also her opportunities as well. So let's get behind the reggae girls and ensure that we start the opening day of the tournament with more history. And what would that be? Getting Jamaica's first point at a FIFA Women's World Cup. Let's get behind the team.